Hi guys, so I'm passing from IdeaMart to do a tutorial on PHP, uh, IdeaMart PHP uh, API. So the PHP API is on GitHub. As you can see, this is the link. So if you want to download it, you can uh, download from here by clicking here. Uh, to start off, so I'll I'll clone the Git to my directory. So I've made the directory called tutorial dash lms so i'll clone it uh, to that uh, uh, to that uh, folder so it's there so this is the listen.php file the listen.php file is the entry point to your application uh, when ideamart sends uh, the sms uh, Post the SMS uh, to your application. Listen.php is the file which will handle it. Uh, should handle it. So, so let's check out the listen.php. Uh, so all errors, uh, all PHP errors would be on a SMS dash app dash error dot log file. You can uh, read the errors if there are any. Uh, uh, this is the server URL. So the, the server URL is, is the URL where you will be posting uh, your messages to, which would be which should be sent to the users. Uh, currently, this is the simulator uh, URL. Uh, this is the app ID. The app ID uh, you will get the app ID when you're creating your app in IdeaMart on IdeaMart. Uh, and the same password, uh, you will get it when uh, your provisioning app on IdeaMart it will be mailed to you. So, so this is the listen.php a sample listen.php. Uh, what this does is it creates the uh, SMS receiver, which receives the message and kind of decode the message. Uh, you can use the receivers get a message method to get the message and the receiver method to get the correction the address method to get the address uh, this is kind of how you make the uh, make the sender uh, method sender object um, it takes in three parameters the server URL the app ID and that password uh, so when you need to send an SMS to a particular user, use the sender sender of the the SMS sender classes uh, SMS method. You can use it. It takes in two parameters: the message which you need to send and the particular user you need to send it to. Um, then, if you need to broadcast it, you have a method called broadcast. Can send that uh, the broadcast message will be sent to the whole subscriber base of your application. Uh, so now we'll just test it out on the simulator. All right. Okay. Message for me. We'll send it, and you should receive an. SMS so this is the SMS this message is sent only to one user so this is that's a SMS sent to a particular user only so we'll just try out a broadcast message fast message so broadcast message uh, and this message as you can see is this should be broadcasted this broadcast the whole subscriber base so we'll just do some hacking on this uh, so a normal uh, normal application would be an uh, come incoming message would be something like a keyword uh, followed by a space uh, and uh, operation some kind of operation so if you want to do something like this you often do something like this uh, and then key 
what and the next one is the operation so we will say opt equals explode you will you will try to split the uh, message with the spaces and take the message as unparalleled. So uh, let's say we'll just test out something like uh, activation message operation. This way. Let's read off. If the operation is not equal to act, we will just say uh, incorrect uh, um, operation keyword. Thank you for activating the service. All right, and we'll just say something that this, uh, which should say that uh, the operation keyword is incorrect. So this is what happens then. So hope uh, the, the tutorial was interesting. Uh, if you have comments or any comments, just uh, uh, put it down below. Uh, so thanks and uh, uh, you can contact us on IdeaMart uh, also yes, uh, this is IdeaMart website and you can contact us on dev support or uh, idea app support on IdeaMart at dialog.lt so signing off I'm passing this love from IdeaMart thanks